So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about a couple of ways to showcase your skills in backend engineering, like in a pretty good fashion. Take some good edge problem, try to code it end to end. Now, once you have coded it, start documenting things as well. How exactly the business logic is technically set up, how scaling of the projects are actually done, how the overall infrastructure setup is done. Hello everyone, I'm Sanket Singh and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in the recent past, a lot of students have actually asked me a question that let's say if they are more interested in backend engineering, then what are some of the good ways to actually showcase their backend engineering skills? Why this question actually gets arised, let me talk about that as well. So most of the time, in case, let's say you make a front-end project, then you are able to deploy that front-end project and like you are actually able to showcase that because anybody can come up and just like in very easy steps, start interacting with that. Same case with a full stack edge project as well, because there is a dedicated front end that is kind of like consuming your backend services and anybody can just directly come up, open the corresponding link of your deployed project and start consuming that. So before moving forward, I would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at AlgoCamp. So if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development, then this is going to be something interesting for you. So if you are somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed not just on the high level part but on the low level coding implementation part as well then we have actually launched our brand new system design course which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems in this particular course with respect to hld we are going to talk about a lot of systems including system design of things like uber streaming systems like netflix how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator how you can design scalable notifications how you can you design code deployment systems and many more there are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added apart from that there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added including design patterns like saga pattern anti corruption layer pattern we have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer blob storages and whatnot this is going to be a power packed course for high level design and along with that there is low level design as well where we are going to talk about solid principle we are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns and we are going to solve a lot of problems including designing your own logger designing kind of like a chess game designing kind of like a book my show system a split wise and whatnot this low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview as well as for your machine coding interviews as well this is going to be be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video but what if somebody is more inclined towards backend engineering? What if front end is not something that they are very much, uh, I would say, comfortable with, or they like probably don't want to pursue something like a front end engineering? Front end can be anything like the web front end or the mobile front end. Like I'm generalizing the front end aspect altogether there. But let's say somebody is there who is like more interested in the backend engineering stuff. Somebody is there who is like more interested in how exactly the business logic is technically set up, how scaling of the projects are actually done, how the overall infrastructure setup is done things about cloud technology somebody is like very passionate about understanding cloud tech and how exactly high scalable engineering is done in cloud if let's say somebody is more inclined towards understanding the back-end system design more inclined about the machine coding aspect of things then how can they actually showcase the project this is the problem statement and i believe a lot of students face this issue why like there is one more reason why i'm like making this video because in the recent past i have like conducted like probably three odd dedicated backend engineering uh, cohorts in all of those cohorts we just focus on like end-to-end -end backend engineering but in those cohorts as well the same question used to be asked to me like how can we actually showcase these projects in our resume so in this particular video i'm going to talk about a couple of ways that i feel is going to be like super cool and very efficient as well in order to make sure that you showcase your skills in backend engineering like in a pretty good fashion so if you are somebody who was stuck with this particular question this would be the right video for you i would highly recommend you guys to watch the video till the end so that you can understand all the corresponding steps that are essential to make sure that you are able to showcase your backend engineering projects well and in case you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to the channel because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead so without any further ado let's just start 
So if let's say you want to make sure that you learn some deeper concepts on backend engineering and are also able to showcase all of those concepts, then first thing is you have to make projects, right? Just theoretical knowledge on all of these concepts is technically not enough. You have to make sure that you go deep dive into these aspects. You take a problem statement and try to solve around it. I always and always recommend people that if you want to make some really, I would say, stand a uh, standout project and you want to make sure that your learning goes 10x while making some project try to read some system design articles and take any particular system be it a netflix like system even something very simple like url shortener and whatever are the system aspects that have been considered in those design try to make a project based on that only instead of just making a simple crud app because crud is something which is of course the basic bare bones of everything but after some time you need to make sure that you are uh, i would say escalating your knowledge as well and once you have started making these live projects, an interesting aspect in the backend engine projects is that like most of the time you have to expose a couple of APIs so that maybe using some API consumption tool like Postman, right? You can actually try those out. So it's an absolutely good way to get started with. Start making some live projects and try to make sure that you take some good edge problem in those live projects. And I'm telling you, I, I'll tell you later why I'm talking about this good edge problem because this is going to be important. So take some good engineering problem that is going to be solved in your project rather than just making it a generic project and try to code it end to end. Now, once you have coded it, start documenting things as well, right? Now, it would be really great if you can document some really core crucial aspect of the whole project, right? Maybe let's say the most important engineering problem that let's say the project actually solves. For example, let's say in case of Uber, I believe one of the most important problems is going to be to find the nearby drivers and then send them the drive notification. And if they accept, then allocate the driver to the corresponding user or calculating dynamic prices on the go as fast as possible and so on. So like there can be a couple of problems. You can pick any one of them and try to code the project. Once you are coding the project, then you can start documenting things around that core engineering problem and tell what are the aspects that you have taken into consideration, how you are coding something specific, because that will actually consider your low level design aspect as well. So how you are actually coding, what are the libraries, what are the alternative libraries you have considered, why you are going forward as a library, what are the corner cases in this particular problem statement and whatnot. Documenting these things is going to be helpful because you can share these documents. You can actually put these documents on the GitHub uh, project so that anybody can come up and understand that, okay, this is not just a regular project that you have built. You have actually considered an interesting problem and like thought about it, like how exactly the whole system should be designed and coded. Everything is fully thought through end to end, right? This is going to be something interesting that I can see not a lot of people do. But there is a catch. You do not need to document the whole project, like how you are even setting up a simple CRUD. You don't need to do that because otherwise it will take a lot of time to even complete a very, very small project for you. And I generally don't recommend this for those people who are in college because at that point of time, you have to learn more altogether, right? But yes, you can definitely prepare a document which is focusing on just the core aspect, the biggest and the most important aspect of your corresponding problem. This actually shows, this will actually show that you have actually done some effort before you actually started coding and of course it's show that this is not just some random project that you have picked from youtube and like just coded it by watching the tutorial you have self-made that project you have actually understood the aspect of the project and this is going to definitely help you showcase things as well now one more important aspect that let's say in the same documentation approach that you can add is to add interesting architectural diagrams one important thing that will happen with this is that you will yourself get a better understanding of how exactly your system is being developed and I generally recommend all the backend engineers to start exploring things around DevOps and infrastructure and cloud infrastructure setup as well. Because what you can do is once you have coded the project, you can try to kind of like have a very small live demonstration that you have actually deployed on, let's say AWS and try to see that how you can uh, set up the whole infrastructure so that it scales at a certain level, like basic things like uh, like you are able to do a horizontal scaling on your application servers. In case you felt that your database should be sharded, you have set up shards of your database, like you manually do that and then you add that to your documentation and then with use with the use of diagrams, you are actually able to show that, okay, these are the different, different system components that I have kept why you have kept it and why you have not used any other approach because now you don't just have the practical approach of that particular aspect but you have also i would say documented it so these diagrams will actually help you to summarize things in a more easy fashion so if somebody is actually reading your document 
then looking at the diagram they will be able to faster decode the whole process altogether because generally the recruiters and the hiring manager don't have like 10 odd minutes to review your profile they just like skim through your profile so these diagrams are going to be attractive and instead if you're let's say not even documenting it separately in a design doc what you can do is you can use this diagram and directly put it on your github repo readme that will also make the overall project pretty much attractive and understandable for the other people as well that what exactly the project does and how it does now one more important aspect that you can actually try out is that you try to make the video of the whole uh, project journey let's say you have made the whole project try to make some let's say simple youtube video out of it it will help you in multiple ways first you'll get some confidence because a lot of people are not that comfortable in front of camera right uh, making these kind of videos can actually help you to like build overall confidence as well but apart from that if let's say you make a walkthrough of the whole project or maybe you code the whole project on some let's say 10 odd videos then what will happen is anybody can actually come up and see that this is actually your effort because if you have made that project yourself you will be very much comfortable in discussing about that project let's say you're not teaching it maybe try to discuss about it this discussion is going to help to actually others as well know that okay you are doing something interesting and let's say videos is not something that you are like very much fond of try to put it on some other social platforms let's say something like twitter so there you can actually put that you have actually made this project you can write a maybe a long thread that uh, explaining what the project does maybe add a simple video uh, of the whole walkthrough of the project and so on this will actually give visibility uh, to your project and will give will give visibility to your profile as well because you can see now you do not have a front end project you have to make every single effort so that people notice you and see that you have made some really crazy engineering project altogether and given some good amount of time in that as well and you know what you're doing these kind of efforts like making some let's say simple youtube video and then embedding that video on your github url or sharing it on, on linkedin and maybe platforms like twitter can actually help you boost your profile a lot and improve the overall i would say uh, engagement of your profile and who knows maybe a recruiter notes notices you and gives you a call for your next job interview as well now one last way that i really love you try to write articles yes like big platforms like hashnode medium these are some really great platforms to actually write articles take some project and explain it in like as in-depth manner as possible in those articles first it will help others as well because you are also reading somebody else's article so it's a good way to give back to the community and when you write articles you can have like a dedicated uh, article section in your resume where you can mention all the blogs and articles that you have written so that's an added advantage and in the blogs and article you get a space that you can explain the project in as in-depth manner as possible add the coding implementation to showcase your LLD aspect add the architectural diagrams as well to show the HLD aspect all the important features uh what what are the things that you have yet not considered and let's say if you later improve things on the project you add things on the project later you can later you can add more additions of your uh, same article right uh, add some updates to the articles and this will be a very good way because if uh, let's say your article is read by a lot of people they will also understand that okay how things are actually done because you will get a space to explain things in a as depth manner as possible because in a github readme you generally just put the basic detail that what the project does but in a space like medium in a space like hashnode you have the chance to explain even in the simplistic line of the code and the most complex line of code that why you have written this in this particular way only why you have actually opted for a separate library why not something else and so on you can make a like a whole tutorial about it and definitely people are gonna love it so writing articles is something that also will help you to showcase your backend engineering projects and again one uh, like one more way that i can add is if you have knowledge of front end then definitely go for making a front-end project and like uh, make it a live de deploy your front-end deploy your back-end connect both of them so that people can actually use it also but in case you don't know front-end then don't worry you are not alone uh, you are not the only uh, software engineer or a budding software engineer who doesn't know front-end but is really interested in back-end so these are some of the ways that will help you but i always recommend that learning is not going to be wasted so if you can learn things around front-end that's good like may maybe ba make a very bare minimum type of a front end that can also be helpful but if you're like absolutely not interested in exploring things in front end these are some of the good ways in which you can boost your profile and make sure that you showcase your projects in the best manner possible that being said let's wrap this particular video here i hope you guys enjoyed the whole video and liked all the important aspect that i listed down 
I would highly recommend you guys to actually share your projects in the comment section below as well so that uh, the whole community can actually see what good things you are actually building. Till then, take care guys. Bye-bye. I am Sanket Singh, signing off.